Kate Aver, is that you? Hey, you see what's happening, man. How you doing? <laughs> good. How are you, my friend? I'm doing good, man. Doing good. Just, John- uh, thank you for having me on. Yeah, of course. John Hopwood is here as well at the news desk. Hello. Uh, you might remember uh, we tried to get John to uh, go on the road with you as a roadie uh, a few years ago. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Actually, if I remember correctly, he was uh, he was going to give me Bitcoin back before I knew what Bitcoin was. <laughs> was that John? Wow. Well, you know, he's a uh, he's a man ahead of his time. No, it was he, what he didn't realize. Remember, we were going to have the Wit coin, but we never. Oh, as right. A, if we had done it, we we wouldn't be here now. We'd be billionaires. I know, right? <laughs> well, I, you know, we'd, we'd be financing the resistance in Ukraine. Maybe we can. Uh, well, <laughs> maybe maybe we can uh, have an EFT. I think yeah. that'd be uh, I think that'd be great. But uh, what's going on, man? You got, I think the when we talked the last time, I think um, the new album was about to come out, if I remember correctly. So obviously it's out now. Yeah, the new album, Midlife Crisis, uh, it's available everywhere. iTunes, Spotify, you know, all that stuff. Uh, so now I've got physicals. I think I have a few physicals left on my uh, .com, Uh And uh, I guess the big reason I'm on the show today is to promote Patty's Day Pass Out, third annual. March 19th, Concord, New Hampshire, free drinks for the price of admission. I uh, got an awesome lineup. Myself, Kinetic, Livid, Problematic, uh Grizz, NES. Uh, it's an amazing time, man. Uh, it's sort of like our way to bring spring to come out of a... Uh, Kind of our way to bring in spring, come out of uh, winter. You know what I mean? Sure. I guess I'm cheating a little bit because I'm in Florida today. But Oh, you are? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in yeah. Florida? Are you on tour? Uh, I think I'm working on some projects while I'm down here, but um, oh. no, I'm just kind of relaxing. I was just chilling by the pool. Um, Where in Florida? You know, just uh, just getting some sun, you know, that thing we haven't seen in the last five months. Yeah. I don't know if you heard him. Uh, John was just asking you where in Florida. Uh, I'm in Orlando. Orlando. Lucky you. Oh, very nice. Very nice. How long are you down there for? You, you got a week down there? or? I'm probably going to be down here another four days. I'm, uh, I'm going to uh, this show aew revolution on sunday oh (laughs) very cool yeah i'm a i'm a big fan of aew i uh i don't get to watch it much because i'm so damn busy but uh but i like it and uh i like the uh the big announcement there tony khan has purchased uh ring of honor i think that's very cool so on the rare occasion that i actually do watch something wrestling it's usually aew these days but uh, uh so that's good that's good um so now you've got the big uh so the show coming up in concord uh where where is that happening exactly uh so it's going to happen at the uh, river hill grange oh um it's just right outside the right outside the town like it's you got the uh you got like the downtown concord area yeah. and then you go just a few miles on the outskirts um yeah river hill grange is gonna be an awesome time you know it's an open venue it's not it's not like a it's not a place that has a. It's not a place you just go to if there wasn't an event. So, anyone there is uh, definitely a fan of the music. So that's definitely cool. Uh, yeah. It's definitely cool to do shows with casuals, but in a situation like this, it's really cool because everyone is there for the same commonality. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now you. So this is the uh, third annual event of these. You said. <laughs> yeah, this is a third annual Patty's Day Pass out. Okay. Uh, have you been? Have you? played all three of them or, or all two of them and then this one were you on the first two yes so yeah i mean obviously you know i'm the one doing the shows and whatever uh funny story so we did the first annual awesome time sold out second annual got canceled two to two years in a row because of covid or whatever oh, uh, oh. 2021 was just it was just too early in 2021 yeah like, if we postponed it till may it would have happened but uh Either way, so I'm calling this one the third annual just to basically kind of let the second one die in the past, you know what I mean? <laughs> I we see. tried resurrecting it, and it was like, ah, so we're just going to call this one the third annual. Yeah, so I, I That's gotcha. why on the flyer, that's why on the flyer it says second, and there's a red X across it, and it says third. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. All right, I get it. Oh, cool, cool. Well, it is outdoors, you know, so it, it, should, uh, it should be... Uh... Pretty safe anyway, it sounds no, like. This is indoors. Oh, it is indoors. Oh, okay. Yeah, the Grange is indoors. Oh, I misunderstood. Okay, I might, I might be thinking of another place. Um, so uh, what what time does the show start? show starts at uh, 7 p.m. Okay. So it's two weeks from tomorrow. So yeah. seven, that's when the doors open. Uh, so we're probably going to get rolling 7.30, give or take. 
Yeah. And uh, like I said, man, it's free. It's called Pay Day Pass Out. We mean it. So as long as you have a designated driver, as long as you don't act stupid, it's free drinks. The price of admission come in. We got. We got beer, shots, mixed drinks, all that good stuff. So yeah, uh, it'll be an amazing time. It's very, very festive. We we encourage dressing up, uh, you know, like uh, Irish theme. So, yeah, you know, more the merrier. Yeah, yeah. Are you Irish? No, but I might as well be. <laughs> <laughs> understood. Understood. See, I'm like the opposite. I I am Irish, but I'm not much of a drinker, and I deeply dislike uh, corned beef and cabbage. So I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm the anti-Irish. Well, but, actually, uh, a <laughs> funny story. I'm newly sober, so. <laughs> oh, good for you. Uh, when, when, yeah. when, when you say, well, when you say newly, how, how new is this? Uh, two months. Two months. Okay. Good. Good for you. Do you, do you feel better? Do you feel, uh, I mean. Oh, I feel a ton better. Yeah. I've lost, um, it kind of goes hand in hand. Like I started working out and, uh eating better so it's not just the alcohol but i've lost uh i lost 20 pounds so good. far good and, uh just the mental clarity is there so yeah you know that's a good thing and uh you know i have no doubt in my mind i'll drink again like I'm, i might drink tonight for all i know but uh i think i got it under control though it was just getting out of hand there for a minute but was either it? way it's not a soft story it's just you know sometimes you go a little too far in one direction and then you just got to redirect <laughs> What motivated you to stop? Was it just uh, you just felt like you were you were drinking too much, or, or you know, what, were you having a um, health issue? Or? Yeah, I don't know. I'm uh, I'm conducting this interview next to a public pool, so I don't know if I want to say it out loud, but uh, just, <laughs> just, was, just going down a just going down a bad just going down yeah. a bad path. You yeah, know? yeah. Like, I'm, I'm not old, but I'm not young. I'm not young, but I'm not old. I'm just it's like I'm just at that age where it's like. You know, I was drinking twenty beers a night. Really worth it? Oh my really god! Easy, like, no, no, that is not worth it. <laughs> wow, <laughs> were you really twenty beers a night? Not every night, but it wasn't hurt. I mean, twelve to fifteen, easy. You know? Wow, I'd be in a coma. Well, I've, I'm not. I'm, I'm such a light drinker that uh, I was just about to say light, light. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very much so. Like one beer, and I'm like I'm buzzed. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Wow. No, I'm glad you stopped, though. That's good. I think, uh, you know, obviously you'll be a lot more uh, productive and uh, and whatnot. Um, now, now I, I'm sure we uh, I'm sure I asked you uh, last time, but uh, what what is your plan uh, this summer? Are you going to be hitting the road at all? So it looks like we'll be touring Europe in fall. Ooh. So I know I'm skipping your summer question. But, oh, uh, wow. Good. Yeah, fall looks very promising. Uh, obviously, with the current events going on, we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah. Touring Europe is definitely one of the things I've been wanting to do my entire career. Mm-hmm. I've toured America several times, so yeah. the fact that Europe's possible now is uh, really an awesome feeling. Uh, as far as the summer, man, not really sure. Um, I'm not sure how far this goes out, but March 23rd, I'll be doing a show in Rochester, New York, with uh, the original Jason Voorhees. His band is called First Jason. Um, <laughs> no kidding. And, then I get, and for anyone that comes to that show, you get free weed, so... My shows Ooh. are awesome. Wow. 19 to get free drinks, the 23rd to get free weed. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, no one puts on shows like we do. Yeah, well, it sounds like it. Yeah, <laughs> that's fantastic. Good. Yeah, I've, I've seen you live a couple times. And, you know, for anyone listening, it's it's um, it's um definitely an event. And um, uh, I, I recommend uh, checking it out. Are, are you headlining at the, the show uh, in Concord? Or, or do you have uh, somebody else? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll be head. I mean, I'm, pro- I'm promoting it like yeah. a collection. Yeah, like I try to make Patty's Day pass out. Patty's Day pass out is the attraction. Yeah, not Kate Aver. I mean, I'm obviously going to perform. I'll probably do like a 40 minute set or whatever. But yeah, I try to make it more about the uh, the party and the atmosphere. But yeah, I'll be headlining the show, and you know, I'm gonna I can bring it. I'm bringing new songs to the table. Um, I'm doing a new set, so you know, it's gonna be interesting. Just do something different. Excellent, excellent, very cool. And uh, by the way, does Kinetic uh, does he still perform with you? Yes, you know, he'll be doing a set as well. Okay, good, good. Good deal, good deal. All right, uh, where should uh, should people get tickets in advance, or do they just walk up? Yeah, I think we have 15 tickets left uh, oh. before it's sold out. So if you want your tickets, oh, wow. go to kdaver.com, uh, get your Pays Day Pass out ticket. Uh, you can message me direct on social media or whatever, or, you know, if, if for whatever reason we don't sell out, you can come up and buy them at the door. I am anticipating a sellout, though, so uh, it's better to 
message me direct or buy them from the website. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, it does sound like it's going to sell out. Well, that that's great. Good for you, man. Good for you. Uh, kdaver.com. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, great website, and uh, I recommend everyone go there. Um, and where and the, the new album uh, currently out, Midlife Crisis, people can get that anywhere they get music online? Yeah, it's available, um, available on all platforms, Spotify, Amazon, YouTube, whatever you listen to. Um, <clears throat> I was originally going to do some music videos for the album, yeah. um, but I'm already moving on to music videos for the future projects. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some lyric videos or something for it. But yeah, I mean, as far as the streaming is concerned, all the songs are all available. Yeah, yeah. Excellent, excellent. All right, my friend. Well, uh, we won't keep you. Uh, you're you're in Orlando, which is uh, a very nice place to be uh, during uh, winter. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, eighty degrees. Oh, <laughs> no, that's nice. Uh, it'll it'll be before I left. Yeah, when I left, it was like five. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And there's no ice to slip on and break your elbow. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, all right, my friend. Thank you for uh, thank you for calling us. Uh, uh, continued uh, success, and uh, boy, enjoy the enjoy the uh, the sunny Florida. All right, Matt. Thank <laughs> you so much. Thank you for having me on. All right, Kay Daver. Anytime. Take care, man. Bye bye. All right. Bye. All right. That is uh, the great Kay Daver. I've probably um, of all the musicians I've interviewed over the years, I've probably interviewed him more than anybody. Um, he, he goes back a long time. I remember. Oh yeah. When he we came here, that was several some several years ago. Yeah, I think the first time I ever talked to him was oh seven oh eight. It's it's been that long. Yeah, we but, might have when we had the back to back shows. He might have been. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Yep, absolutely.